So welcome. Um, I guess you're here because probably there was an issue with your exam. You had a problem, you know, uh, and there are just different grades of the problems, right? You know, maybe like you couldn't submit your script uh, when it's when uh, you were writing your exam. Uh, maybe you had technical issues. Maybe you did not finish, uh, but then your time was over and then you, the computer had to log you out. Or maybe there were just issues where you were logged out and, and then you had to log back in again and stuff. I don't know the particular issue you had but you know in this video i want to talk about what happened when you couldn't submit your jam utme right when you couldn't click on the end button or you couldn't click on the submit button what happens to you and also if you were if you missed your exam for any reasons what also happens to you and in this video i will also be giving you the link for you to make a direct complaint to jam uh, you know, just directly, right? So I'll give you that. Uh, and then don't don't also forget that I'll be uh, praying with you at the end and then I'll tell you the word to comment, you know, right in the video uh, before we get done. Be I like to pray, you know, so because it has worked for me and it definitely will work for you. So I'm talking about all this and more in this particular video. My name is Zion Oshobuge. Welcome to my channel. Uh, into this. Now, normally, what's the ideal situation? The ideal situation is for you to submit voluntarily, right? It's for you to actually end this exam and then click on the submit button. But maybe this was not the situation for you. So here I am trying to help you figure it out, trying to help you make sense of what really happened. Uh, let's start with the ones that, you know, you were logged out, right? And then you had to log back in again and you were logged out and you had to log back in again, maybe for technical issues, maybe there was an error somewhere. And that's why, you know, um, it got to a point where your, your, your computer just, you know, um, you know, logged out and, and then, you know, the exam was done, you know? People like you obviously fall in the same category with the people also that uh, could not submit their exam. Now, for, for you also that you did you were writing and then you didn't know time was going, right? And then the time was up and then you had to, you know, the computer automatically logs you out if the time is up now this is another category of people. Then um, for you that um, actually you did not submit your exam the computer went off on you and you couldn't click on the end button or you forgot to click submit you know a couple of people have asked me what happens right so what happens is this the computer automatically is created and you know programmed to submit your script for you i mean that's what it's programmed to do but then there are some technicalities i mean it's not just you know rocket science right so if you were writing and then the time went off on you and then you could only write three subjects and then you didn't write the fourth one what happens is that the three subjects you've written is what will be scored for you you remember that jam is over 400 and um, if you were able to just answer maybe two subjects out of the four subjects the two subjects you answered is what jam uh, software will record for you so uh that's what we call computer submission and computer submission is programmed to help you if you had a problem in your center then you logged out uh you know unconsciously or maybe you couldn't click the, the end button before the, the the time went off um the computer automatically will submit for you but there have been loads and loads of questions about computer submission right so question number one that, that people have always asked, you know, they've said, Mr. Zion, um, the computer submitted for me. Yes, I agree. You've told me about that. But what happens when the computer submits for me? Would they automatically deduct marks for me uh, because I didn't submit uh, by myself? The answer actually is no. Nobody will actually deduct marks from you because you did not submit by yourself. So computer submission has nothing to do with marks deduction. So when the computer submits for you, you actually, um, you know, are at, 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 uh, you're at an advantage because uh, instead of it to be that you did not submit at all, right? The computer just automatically submits for you. So it's important that you know this very well because um, sometimes some people would, would try to tell you stuff that doesn't work. But then if you have a problem and you're saying, Mr. Lion, I still want to make a complaint. I am angry okay you can so let's talk about how do you make a complaint when you are angry right but a complaint to jam so what you can see on my screen right now 
is the JAM Central Online Support System. Now, there are three parts to this support system. There's, the, there's candidates and general support ticket. There's development partners and center support. There's local support. Now, the other two doesn't concern you. The development partners and center support doesn't concern you. Local support doesn't concern you. All you need to do when you get to this place, and, and the website's already, you know, you can see the website here already, www.jam.gov.ng forward slash support most students don't take advantage of this support uh, platform that jam has created because most students don't also know about the support platform so let's talk about how to use the jam support ticket right what you need to do is just to come and then you click here you click on the general support you click on create a support ticket you know when you click you can now if you've created a ticket before and you want to assess that ticket that's when you use the other one you can see that says assess a ticket so for this one we are creating a ticket and they are asking you are you a candidate with a jam registration number please click yes so if you are the candidate with the registration number all you need to do is to come here and then you click yes right now when you've clicked yes it will open up the jam support portal for you and that's this picture i'm showing you here just now you know so create a candidate support ticket this is the way you can formally complain to jam this is the way that jam will hear your complaints they have a right by law to hear your complaints but if you don't make any complaint they cannot hear it so most people have retaken an exam that they wrote most people have had their exams rescheduled most people have had their complaints tackled because they created a support ticket so all you need to do is to come here remember it says it says a, a ticket an electronic complaint that can be tracked and it is free for everyone on this website so you need to understand that it's your right to complain so what you need to do here put your registration number and then you need to put the nature of the complaint right <coughs> so sorry for this particular one if you're going to complain you need to put you need to click on 2022 exam issues because some people their biometric were not captured some people something just happened in your center that you want to complain about you need to use the support ticket to complain about it right it's very very important okay good so then you need to go to subject and type in your subject maybe the subject is biometric issues maybe the subject is lateness maybe the subject is my computer logged up maybe the subject is error message technical issues whatever the subject is Click, write the subject there and then write the issue you need to now clearly articulate the issue if you have any picture upload the picture and then click on send when you do that it's going to create automatically give you your ticket number right so i'm teaching you now on how to create a support ticket i'm teaching you that when you have created that ticket and click on send it will create it will automatically give you um, a support number right um, your ticket number now all you can do is that every single maybe week you can come in and track your ticket to know if jam has attended to your ticket so you okay now you've created your ticket now you've made your complaints known to jam board what next now what do you need to do next is you need to track your um your tickets right so every single week or once in two weeks you might have to come back to the platform and click on assess ticket for you to track for you to know if your complaints have been attended to don't sit down as a student that have an issue and then don't complain listen let me tell you something it's your right to complain no? so once you've complained you need to come and be tracking to check if they've attended to you all you need to do is click on assess ticket on the same platform and then enter your e uh, facility email um, and then also enter the the ID of your ticket, right? So um, when you do that, and remember the ID of your ticket, they're going to give you in numbers, and then there will be some letters on it. When you do that, you can click on submit, and then it will retrieve the information to show you if your ticket has been attended to. I hope this helps you because this is one, if not the only way to get any issues resolved with your jam. It's the direct way to complain to jam. I hope this helps somebody and I hope, you know, you guys can also share with me, um, you know, the results of the ticket. If you got, if you got a response, um, you know, just share with me um, on the comment section. So if you got to this part of the video, right? If you got to this part of the video, you have to put it on the comment section and say, I take action now. 
so that's what i want you to put on the on the comment section if you got to this part of the video click up and put on the comment section i take action now i take action now that's what you should write on the comment section so go write it down if you have a problem and this this has helped you write i take action now and when you finish writing i take action now take action now very very important to do that really you know and when you take action on anything that is bothering you that is the first way to resolve that thing so write on the comment section i take action now all right thank you so much for watching this part of the video um if you want if there's a video you want me to do for you if there's something that's bothering you and you want me to talk about it please 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 also comment um and tell me what is um bothering you and then somebody has commented and said to me mr zion um um, and that's the comment i'm showing you here he has said to me mr zion please after jam what next i'll be doing a video because of you um that you said after jam what next so if there's any kind of topic you want to talk about that is bothering you uh, let me know and i'll talk about it in uh, another video right so if you also have not checked your jam results you can also watch my other videos on how to check your jam result that will help you a lot if you also check your jam result and then um, you know you need to um, change your school i'll do a video on change of school <clears throat> and i've also done a video of the easiest universities to get admission in this country check the uh, you know check my page and you see it there let's pray Father, I thank you for this person that is watching me right now. I just bless your name and I ask that you remove any form of error from their life in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord, I ask that you continue to bless them. I ask that their educational journey is made smooth in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this person right now that this is the year you take action and this is the year you get admission. I pray for this person watching me just now on, on, on YouTube. Lord, scholarships like never before come upon this person. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I believe in you so much. And I believe in the possibilities that you carry. I may not have seen you before. I may never meet you. And I really want to. But there's one thing I know about you. You will go far in life. I love you so much. Have a great day and have a great life. I love you. <laughs>